What is a tilt table test like and what should you know before having one? Stay right here to find out. Hello, my name is Alyssa Lane and welcome to my channel where I share all about my chronic illness journey to help educate and support others. If you're new here, you should consider subscribing so that you can see even more videos from me. And today I'm talking about the tilt table test for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, otherwise known as POTS. If you're new to that term, you can watch my video about it here in the corner. It's also linked down in the description box below this video. But essentially, when a healthy person goes from lying down to standing up, they have just the slightest little increase in their heart rate and in their blood pressure. And this is to help fight the effects of gravity and make sure that oxygenated blood is still making it up here to the brain. Now the tilt table test looks for abnormalities in this process, which can indicate POTS or a number of other conditions. This test requires essentially no effort from the patient, so it's easy in that sense. And when you first come in, you'll be asked to lie down on a special table or bed that has got a foot rest on it. And you'll be asked to shimmy down towards the foot of the bed so that both of your feet are firmly planted on that foot rest. At this point, the patient is usually lightly strapped into the bed using something like seat belts. And this is just to keep the patient from falling and hitting their head if they were to pass out later on in the test. So once you are lying on the bed, you will also be connected to some machines to take your vital signs. So usually that means uh, having some electrodes for an EKG, a blood pressure cuff, and a pulse ox monitor on your finger. You might also have an IV line placed if you're doing the version of the test that requires the administration of medication. Now, testing always makes me a little nervous. So before I can have a good baseline, I have to do some things to calm myself down. So that can be deep breathing or visualizing myself being anywhere else but the hospital. And usually that will help relax me enough so that we can get a good baseline reading while I'm lying down. After a good baseline has been found, which can take usually around five minutes, but for me, it's somewhere near 20 minutes, then the table will move you from a lying down to a mostly upright position. And it's important that you don't move during this portion of the test because that can skew your results. Another thing that can skew your results is the use of coping mechanisms. So avoid doing things like tensing large muscle groups or using any biofeedback techniques that you have learned. And once you're in that upright position, you will stay there anywhere from five to 45 minutes or until you faint. You will also be periodically asked about your symptoms, about whether you're experiencing palpitations or lightheadedness or nausea amongst other things. It's also important to note that if you're going to receive medication, you'll get it during the standing portion of the test. After the time has run out, or if you fainted, you are then immediately returned to a horizontal lying down position. And at this point, you are monitored and you, until your vital signs get back to, or at least close to, that baseline that was recorded before the test started. And at that point, you're free to go. Now, for me, the tilt table test is like experiencing the worst case scenario for my POTS for 45 minutes straight. And it usually takes a lot out of me. I can be, be fatigued for the rest of the day or even for several days following the test. It can also make some of my other conditions like my EDS even worse. And the best thing I have found to combat this is just to increase salt and water intake and to just be gentle with yourself. Be kind and take all the rest that you need. And as far as preparation goes for before the test, the only thing you might be asked to do is to avoid taking in any food or water for a couple of hours before your scheduled test time. Although definitely double check with your specific testing facility for that information. I wish you all easy and accurate tilt table tests. If you've had the test before, let me know if there are any tips or tricks that I forgot to mention that you would have the people know. Tell us all about it down in the comment section below this video. And if you haven't already, you should subscribe to this channel by clicking that subscribe button so that you can tell YouTube that you want to see even more content from me. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.